Now we've all probably seen the power of Adobe Firefly's generative AI for Photoshop because everyone and their mums has been posting about it. But it got me thinking, if it can be used in photos, then can it be used in videos? Filmmakers have been using matte paintings for composite images for years now, from Charlie Chaplin to Star Wars to digital matte paintings in HBO's The Last of Us. But this usually takes a lot of time, effort and money. So what if we could create the scene and shot we want, but with a couple prompts and some masking? So I gave it a go. Right, so straight away you'll notice that these aren't perfect and honestly some of them look a little bit ridiculous but I was just kind of having a bit of fun with it and seeing what I could do. This sort of thing has always been possible but it's only now that it's becoming more accessible. Now I think with this kind of thing less is always more but I do love the idea of being able to add elements to your image that weren't there before to aid in telling the story the way you want to. Now obviously right now there's limitations to what you can do as we're working with static images and the generative AI isn't perfect. But I am interested in seeing where Adobe is taking Firefly and how these tools can transfer to video. I really don't think these tools are gonna replace the talented VFX artists who create amazing CGI, at least definitely not right now. I still do think there's a long way to go, but it's only going to get easier and more accessible for small independent creators and filmmakers to achieve Hollywood looking VFX shots using AI generated imagery. But who knows, I'm only speculating and I'm just trying to have a bit of fun with it and be as creative as possible. AI is never going to replace human creativity in my opinion but rather become a tool to achieve the shots and world building scenery that we've always been after.